Hello, so welcome back. I know it's been a minute um, since I've been here, that I recently moved, as you can probably tell. Um, I started a new job, so I've been super busy with that. And, but now I moved in, um, have a day off from work. Uh, so I thought I would film my August TBR for you guys. Um, I'm sitting here in front of my very empty bookshelf because a lot of them are either on my TBR, for August because I only brought enough books to last me through the summer or they are um the tripod that this that my phone is balancing on. So the reason that this is coming out and not a July wrap up is because I only grabbed one book in the month of July. Like I said I moved, I started a new job, um and I'm like living by myself completely like no roommates or anything at the moment though they're, they're coming but not yet um for like the first time in my life so there's just been a lot of other things um occurring as opposed to being able to read as much as I want so in the month of July I have read Sister Carrie well kind of I haven't finished it yet um I'm filming this on July 30th hopefully I'll finish Sister Carrie either today or tomorrow we'll see but um yeah, that's why there's no July wrap up. But in August, you know, I really want to get back. I'm finally like getting into the swing of things. So I really, really want to get back to reading. Anyway, so let's get into my August TBR. So here are all the books that I plan to read. I don't know if I'm going to get to all of them. Probably not. But I figured why not just go through them all. So where should we begin? I think I'll do this by genre. So we'll start off with the YA books that I want to read this month. So first up, I don't know if this is, I think this is YA. I'm gonna count it as YA. We have Glass. Um, it's super thick, but it is actually poetry. So it's pretty quick read. Um, this is a sequel to the book called Crank by Ellen Hopkins. Um, I absolutely loved crank uh i was in a reading like a competitive reading club in high school um and that was one of the books on the list that we had to read and uh yeah it was really good i recommend that everybody reads it uh, it's free verse poetry so it doesn't necessarily read like poetry um so if you're someone that doesn't necessarily like poetry i would still recommend this just because um it's not like your stereotypical poetry, I guess. Um, so I really enjoyed it. It read like a novel, but it was like shorter and more like lyrical. I really enjoyed it. Next up on the YA bus, we have Gloria O'Brien's History of the Future by A.S. King. I absolutely love A.S. King. This is the only book by her that I have yet to read. I've read all of her other books. I've read her anthology. I've given all of them at least four stars. Um, I absolutely love A.S. King, so I'm very excited to finally read the last book by her that I have to read. Exciting. The next way that I have, and these are not in any like particular order of like the order that I'm going to read them or anything. I have Clap When You Land by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, I picked this up yesterday. I went to my university's bookstore and I bought two books. Um, the other one you'll also see in this list. I've just heard really good things about it and I really want to read it. Um, it seems really interesting. Um, I don't really know very much about it besides that, but I'm looking forward to reading it this month, hopefully. It's like towards the top of my list though of what I want to read, so I'll probably get to it. The final YA book that I have is On the Come Up by Angie Thomas. She is the author that wrote The Hate You Give. I loved The Hate You Give. It's in my top 10 favorite books of all time, um, which if you want to, to see that whole list, you can go over to my Goodreads, which will be linked down in the description. So it is about a teenage girl who uh, lives in a rather impoverished area and she wants to become a rapper. Um, if it reads anything like The Hate You Give, I know I'm going to love this. So I am very excited and looking forward to reading this book. So the next genre that I have is adult fiction. So the first book that I have in that genre is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. Um, I've heard great things about this book. Um, 
it seems really interesting. I think it's adult fiction. Honestly, it might be like young adult. I really don't know. Um, but I'm excited to read it. It is about a suburban town where every like everyone does the whole like stereotypical thing that you'd expect suburbanites to do but then this new I think it's a mother-daughter duo moves in and they kind of turn the whole town on their head because they are like different um so it seems really interesting I think I'm really going to enjoy it so yeah I'm looking forward to reading that one the next adult fiction book that I have is The Lost Symbol by Dan Brown I love Dan Brown. About four years ago, I read Angels and Demons and the Da Vinci Code um, in like a span of a week. I absolutely love them. Angels and Demons is also on my top 10 favorite books of all time. Again, check out my Goodreads. Um, and I never got around to reading The Lost Symbol. And then there's also uh, Inferno, I think it's called, and um, Origin. The Lost Symbol is the third book in the series. Technically, you don't have to read them in order, but I am because why not? I've read the other non-Robert Langdon books by Dan Brown, so Digital Fortress and Deception Point as well, um, and I really, really enjoyed those. I love Dan Brown's writing, so I'm so excited to read The Lost Symbol. It is so thick and intimidating, um, which I think is a big reason why I never got around to it because I just, like, whenever I would pick it up, I'd get busy and then I'd have to stop. Um, so hopefully I will get around to reading this book this time. Um, it is towards the top of my TBR. The next book in the adult fiction genre is Pet Cemetery by Stephen King. So I've actually never read Stephen King. I have a couple of his books, um, back home. My mother is a huge Stephen King fan. I have like Cujo and I think I have Dr. Sleep. Um, and you know my mother really likes Stephen King um, and I want to read more like horror and thriller type novels that's my um, big goal for 2020 so why not read Pet Cemetery? I think I'll like it but again I haven't read Stephen King before so we'll find out if I like it or not. The last genre on my list I guess are classics so I only have two of these on my TBR for right now. The first one is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I guess technically this falls in between like adult fiction and classics. However, it is considered like a highbrow piece of literature. So I want to read this one so then I can read the sequel. I really am having a blank and I don't remember what it's called, but I do want to read that one as well. I don't own it yet, um, but I, I've heard really good things about The Handmaid's Tale. Like, I don't think a sing I've heard a single person complain about it. So I really, really want to read it. So the second one that I have is The Portrait of Dorian Gray by Oscar Wilde. In high school, we read The Importance of Being Earnest by Oscar Wilde, and I absolutely loved the writing style. I have a friend that read this book, and she loved it. Um, sorry, the price tag is still on it. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> And yeah, I just, I want to read it. It's pretty short. I feel like I could probably knock this out in like a weekend at some point. These are the nine books that I hope to read in August. If I somehow manage to finish all these early, like before the end of the month, I don't think I will. Um, I either want to read China Rich Girlfriend, which is the sequel to Crazy Rich Asians. Um, I really enjoyed Crazy Rich Asians. Um, so I feel like I'd really like China Rich Girlfriend, um, or maybe like Wuthering Heights or Little Women. I don't really know yet. I don't have a plan. Uh, I'm still, <laughs> but yeah, we'll see. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Books and Pen, as well as check out my Goodreads, I guess, if you want to see like my favorite books or what I'm reading. If you have any video suggestions related to like books or video essays, or college or anything like that, um, comment them down below and I will do them. Uh, thank you again and <clears throat> see you guys later. Bye.